Once again, it's Winston Smith, correspondent of the program, Reviews with Booze. And my friends, uh, I want to talk about an album that uh, is not... I held off on a couple of weeks just because I wanted to hear it a few times before I talked about it. And uh, that album is called Legend by Witchcraft, the new release. And... Uh, <laughs> it's hard to do this album because uh, it's an album that you kind of want to get in the right state of mind to listen to and making things often hard to remember <laughs> for me anyways but that's uh, that's some bullshit anyways uh, this this album is incredibly well recorded it sounds great um, each instrument sounds pretty goddamn fabulous um, drums are fucking good old real sounding motherfucking shit and uh kicks off with a kick ass fucking song deconstruction which is like sabbathy it's kind of a little bit lengthy not too long in your face it has some change ups but it's real fucking da -da 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 you know re witchcraft of course you're going to find a lot of reminiscence of black sabbath Fucking the flags of fate is a little trippier with the these cool chords, and uh, it's got good vocals too, a little uh, kind of soothing voice. Um, I didn't really care for the song. It's not because of you though. Uh, I that one's a little bit uh, seems I don't know what the word is like mainstream sounding or something, but. Uh, I fucking really do like um, Dead End. That's the last song, and it's really fucking long and trippy, and it has a fake fade out. Like, it fades out, and you're all, oh, that was cool, and then it's like, wow, 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 and it starts fucking right back motherfucking on in. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Track eight, at, at the, I think three or four minutes in, sounds totally like fucking... Tony Iommi on guitar and fucking he's going for Ozzy style uh, and even cadencing of uh, fucking vocals and shit <laughs> and uh, it's a very good album very uh, cool I don't know if I like it better than uh, than their album The Alchemist but We'll see as time goes on. I'm going to get to really enjoy this album. The vocals, it seems like recently, maybe on some of the, I don't even heard every Witchcraft album, but uh, this one, it seems like in the middle, it's kind of got a little bit of like Maynardy tool almost vocals, kind of, and stuff. But uh, definitely mostly Sabbath influence, of course, more contained and prettier sounding. It even has like a slight dash of like the indie voice. Or something that could be in some lousy indie band, but it's done really well in this fucking group. Which is definitely fucking... Pretty fucking metal. Um, it's The bonus song on the CD is really cool. Uh, it's actually one, one of the betters on my top three. Top three or four on this album. It's a really sweet album, and it's going to be featured in the showdown round. Versus fucking the graveyard when it comes out. Can't wait for that. That's going to be exciting. And we'll see who's better. Witchcraft or Graveyard 2012 release. Thank you for watching. It's reviews with booze. <laughs>